general relativity, step by step. I've derived the gauge transformation here for the trace reversed metric perturbation h bar, which we found to be a little bit simpler for, or, or resulted in a slightly simpler version of the Einstein field equations. Now, why did, want, why did we want to fool around with the gauge transformations? Well, in screencast number 14, which I've got here, there we go. General relativity, step by step. Yeah, well, there he is. He's talking, and I'm going to shut him up. I'm, I'm just going to skirt through to the end. Stop him. What we're going to do, what we wanted to do, what we wanted to do here was to find a coordinate system in which this thing here held. This di beta by h bar alpha beta was equal to zero. Because if it was zero, the reason for doing that was that it made the Einstein field equations, which I've got here, the linearized ones at least, so much simpler. You'll remember that we had a whole bunch of simplifications in, in screencast number 14, which resulted in this term here, which I wanted to keep, and these three terms here, which were just getting in the way and making life difficult. And so what we wanted to do was to use the the freedom that coordinate freedom gives us, the power of coordinate freedom, to choose coordinate systems that make our lives easier. And I didn't want to use the full power of coordinate freedom because that's like drinking from a fire hose. It, it's like fighting a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's horrible. What we wanted to do is to use the flat space approximation so we can use the power of gauge transformations in order to find a coordinate system that this does that this that oops i didn't want to do that let's just kill that and put that away so what i wanted to do was to use gauge transformations in order to find a coordinate system in which um h bar mu nu comma nu was equal to zero so we're going to do that today well, let's just get going. Um, let's just get going. Oh, oops, I wanted to rub that out. I'm going to pinch in a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, first of all, I'm going to raise these indices here, mu, nu, just lifting them up under a gauge transformation, mu, nu, minus, the sign doesn't change, does it? Di, oh, no, it's up there. Xi, nu, plus di, nu, Psi mu plus eta mu nu upstairs. But the clever thing is that this is a scalar, so it doesn't care where its indices are, they just stay where they are. That's quite nice. Okay, so we've got this. What happens to the gauge transformation? Well, I'm just going to differentiate it on both sides. So di mu h bar mu nu under a gauge transformation turns into di mu h mu nu minus, let's get all these terms right, di mu di mu xi nu, which is this term here. That's that one there. Actually, I'll change colour. Some One of my uh, correspondents complained I've got too much black and white and not enough colour. They like the colour, so I'm happy to oblige. There you go. What's that term there? In red. Now we've got this blue term here. What does that do? I can't bring myself to write in blue, but I'll, I'll write in. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm differentiating with respect to abuse. That's di mu acting on di nu psi mu plus di mu, that's a bracket there as well, di mu eta mu nu from this term here, di alpha psi alpha. All right. So I can rephrase uh, that. I can rephrase this one as just, you see that the mu has, this mu has been raised by the eta and turned into a nu. So I'm just going to talk, call that a di nu of that. And then I'm going to observe that this term here, I can just swap the order around. I can say that's di nu, di mu, xi mu. Again, I'm applying regularity conditions on my small tensors. And then I observe 
that although it's an alpha and an alpha and a mu and a mu here, it's the same thing. And the sign's different, that's a minus. So these two guys cancel out, which I'm going to do in orange. Cancel. Cancel. There we are. Uh, so what have I got left? Are they two cancels? I'll forget those. So what happens? Let's go back to black, if I can find it. My um, interface is misbehaving. So die mu h mu nu. I'm going to pinch in. We can ignore this stuff here. We've only got four terms. Die mu h bar mu nu goes under a gauge transformation to die mu h mu nu minus die mu die. Now I'll write it down in order. The mu's downstairs, and then we've got the upstairs. Psi nu. And the other terms have gone. The other terms have gone. So what that tells me is that if I choose Psi with the following properties, with the property that... Well, th 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 these two terms cancel out. So di mu h mu nu minus di mu di mu psi nu equals zero. Or to rephrase it, choose xi so that, let's just rephrase this thing here. It, it, it's, it's, it's quite subtle, this. There's quite a, it's quite subtle. It's quite subtle, and we'll see later. I'll show you exactly the, the flaw that Einstein had in his own reasoning. This is Einstein. And I'm going to show you his, the flaw in his reasoning. So we're going to choose Xi such that di mu, di mu upstairs, Xi nu equals di mu h mu nu. If we choose this, then that means that the left-hand side of the, uh, the, the, the this guy uh, tra uh, ha has zero divergence. If we choose this, then di mu h bar mu nu equals, well, z zero from here. How about that? This is why gauge transformations work. We can make them do useful things. We can choose a gauge we can choose a gauge transformation that allows us to insist that this condition here is met. And if that condition there is met, that makes our life oh so much easier. I'm going to go back to number 14. General yeah, 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 yeah. Shut him up. We're going to go back here and we can get rid of him and him and him. We can get rid of those terms from our thinking and be left with a nice single term equation which I'm going to set to be equal to zero because I'm going to work in the vacuum uh, the vacuum solution okay that's why gauge transformations work they work because we can insist that this condition here is met which makes our life easy stop 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 stop